Order, I will have order. Witness, I mean Cody, is this true? What did you see? Tell the court what you saw. Change your testimony. Again! For the 20th time! Oh my god! I made the kid cry. You gotta face reality sometimes, kid. That day you saw the Steel Samurai lose a fight. Right? Well, okay, okay. You're right. The Steel Samurai fell down. Then he didn't move. Order, order, order. So what if it was Jack in the Steel Samurai? Then they like drag the body away and... Because he saw it happen outside, right? But it was in Studio One where his body was found. And couldn't they not find the costume? There was no blood. Jack had to be in the Steel Samurai costume because there was no blood on the scene. There was no blood on the ground. And also, they don't know where the Steel Samurai costume is. So, when we find it, there's going to be blood in it because Jack was wearing it. I'm figuring this shit out, man. I'm, ge I'm getting it. I'm telling you. The Steel Samurai was the murderer, not the victim. No. The st shit. I, see, I didn't think of that. I, I got it. I, I, I called this a long time ago, sort of, in, in certain ways, if I'm right about what I'm talking about here. But I never thought that Jack would have been the one in the Steel Samurai costume. That's pretty clever, game. Pretty clever. The Steel Samurai was the one who fell. But that was Jack Hammer wearing it. Had to have been. Apparently, we have all made a serious error. An error? What's this all about? Uh... I mean, both of these things are correct. I feel like Hammer was wearing the Steel Samurai. So, if both these things are correct, I feel I, like these are the same thing. So, is it that one? That doesn't make any sense. Maybe I've been wrong about what I've been gloating about this whole time. I mean, there was no victim. That doesn't make any sense. Hammer was the victim. I mean, yeah, he was. That's an obvious fact. So, I'll just say this one. If you understand what really happened, it's actually quite simple. At the end of the fight, the Steel Samurai fell to the ground and lay still. In other words, the Steel Samurai was not the killer, he was the victim. Don't you see? Jack Hammer was the Steel Samurai! That's what I'm tell- Not in the show, though. What if that's also a twist, that he was also the Steel Samurai in the show, and it was just... a lie... for some reason? Why would that be? Because, like, nobody had even seen, like, Will Power's face. So why would that... That doesn't make any sense. He, he had to just be wearing it that one time. I don't know why, though. You're saying this man in this costume was the victim, Mr. Jack Hammer. Yes! Yes, he would have... He, he was. That makes me think they were trying to mislead you to make you think it was a short person. To make you not suspect the only other tall person, Jack Hammer, was in the costume. He was present at the action scene run through that morning, but he was limping... So he had to... He had to be impersonating Will Powers on purpose. Why would he be doing that? See, it's coming more together, but there's still a lot of questions. Hadn't Mr. Hammer gone to Studio One already? That's what everyone thought. But remember what Miss Oldbag said in her testimony. On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. Did I see poor old Hammer? Nope. He'd already gone to the studio before I got back to the guard station. So we don't know where he actually went. Mr. Jack Hammer left the employee area after lunch. However, no one saw him going to Studio One. Nor was there a picture of him. He waited for Mr. Powers to take a nap in his dressing room. Then he stuck into the dressing room and stole the Steel Samurai costume. Why? Why would the victim do such a thing? I don't know. <laughs> I get it. What? You do? Maybe he was just jealous and he wanted to be the Steel Samurai for a change. I thought that the Steel Samurai was moving strange, so it was a different person inside the suit. Okay, so it is Will Powers in the show. That's what I thought. It was just Jack that one time. Huh, me? What? Actually, there was one piece of data I saved. Oh my god, how many times have you lied to me? <laughs> yeah, a photo on my digital camera. Jesus, kid. This is why I'm not having kids ever. 
This is ridiculous. Although the adults are just as bad, but they they are kids first, and they re retain their evil ways. So still, no way, man. Not if you're gonna look at me like that. No. Here, this is it. Well, looking at this, it's still a little hard to say. I'm afraid that it could be anyone in that costume. Your opinion, Mr. Wright? I agree, Your Honor. This isn't decisive evidence. I'm sorry, this doesn't look like it's the proof we need. I'll give it back. Wait, Phoenix. Mia, what? Look at that photo once more. Uh, there's another burp! Oh my god. Excuse me. That's it, Phoenix. That photo's all the evidence you need to win this trial. What? Your Honor, may I see that photo once more, please? Who could fight him, though? If he's a big dude in the Steel Samurai costume and he had a spear, who could fight him and kill him? And why would it be a real spear? It's a TV show. How could it actually stab him? There's a glaring, decisive inconsistency with the facts as we know them in that photo. I mean, he is he's the one with the spear. Is it also not broken? Because the spear was supposed to be broken. I mean, you can't really tell. He might be holding it at the breakage point. What if I just click uh, around where the spear is? I mean, can I go back and, like, look? I can't go back and look at the picture of the spear or anything. Uh, find the inconsistency. And I don't think that would actually matter. Um, was there a, is, this door? I mean, this door that's studio... Is that the door to Studio One? I would imagine so, because if not then they would have noticed that immediately because it's huge. But then there's the there's the S, but then there's that up there. Is that 2? Is that actually Studio 2? So he was at Studio 2? What? Your Honor, look at this. I see a gate. Might I draw your attention to the number on that gate? The number? Because I remember, that was the layout of Studio 2. Next to it, there was a 2 on top of a, a pillar next to the gate. Oh uh, yes, well, it's hard to see, but it looks like a 2. Clearly not a 1, Your Honor, correct? So what does that mean? I believe Mr. Edgeworth sees what I'm getting at. But, that's impossible! Huh? What's this all about? Please explain so that I might be shocked along with the rest of the court. <laughs> okay, I'll use the studio guide map. The body was found here in Studio 1. So it happened by Studio 2, and it was moved. So that's what I'm saying. They took him out of the costume afterwards, and they moved him there. Okay. And then decided to frame Will. Probably. Because they probably wanted to kill Will, I think. However, what do we see in this photo taken at the time of the murder? I still don't know why he would have been wearing it and impersonating Will. It does not say 1 on that gate in the photo. Your Honor... Here is the true scene of the crime. It actually happened at Studio 2. But that actually opens it up to being any of the other guys. Because the whole point was they couldn't leave the Studio 2 area because of the monkey head. But they didn't need to. Because it happened there. So they could have done it. Sal and D and all those guys, they could have done it. Shit, man, this is intense. I mean, it had to be like right here. I mean, do I have to have it exact? Like, it was, like, in front of Studio 2. How about right there? Here, at Studio 2. I see. That would explain the 2 on the gate in the photo. I'm about to be at an hour-long recording again. Crap, man. But I like it. This case is pretty cool. Your Honor, I find it very significant that the number 2 took place in... The murder took place in Studio 2. That the number 2 took place there. That somebody pooped there. This is a long case, and it's kind of... Kind of draining, but it is interesting. Uh, I mean, both of those things are relevant. But that one more so. We'll go with that. That's where they were, so they could have done it. One of them was the bad guy. I feel like it had to be D. Maybe she's a secret badass. And because she, like, she built the company up, you know? Maybe something was going on with Jack where something bad would happen to the company and she killed him. I, I don't know. Because I kept drilling in like, oh, she made this company what it is today. We'll see. Now on that day, a meeting was held in that very trailer. 
there was a break in the meeting corresponding to the time of death. During that break, Mr. Salmonella and Miss D. Vasquez were outside eating steak. They were at the scene of the crime. The path to the trailer was blocked. So we have heard. The path was blocked, so we have gone from they couldn't have been the killers to they are the only ones who could have been the killers. What a twist. In other words, the victim went to Studio 2 before that time. Yes, yes, I suppose that would be the case. Remember Mr. Salmonella's testimony? Allow me to remind the court. He said no one in the trailer was guilty because they could not have gone to Studio 1. Yet in actuality, the reverse was true. Not on only someone in the trailer could have committed this murder. They were the only ones with access to the scene of the crime, Studio 2. Order, order. The defense makes the following claims. The scene of the crime was Studio 2. The person that the security guard, Miss Oldbag, saw was the victim, Jack Hammer. Mr. Hammer, for some reason, stole a steel samurai costume. Then he went to Studio 2. This is crazy. This is madness. No, it's crazy, but it's true. Jack Hammer is the victim. The vic- Yes, that's what I'm saying, you dumb shit. Why would he steal a steel samurai costume? That's irrelevant to the fact that he did, and he, that he was- it, fuck, fuck you. Are you. Are you suggesting he did so to cover up the details of- no! Well, no, of course not. Huh. Oh, do you have proof? I- I'll- I'll do it. I gotta find the costume, and I gotta find that there's blood in it. I don't think I have proof yet, though. But I don't think choosing I don't have proof is a good idea. I have plenty of exclamation marks to lose. You do? I feel like I have to find the costume and find that there is blood in it. Oh, but there's also the sleeping pills. So yeah. I mean, we don't have any actual proof that Will Powers took them, though. An empty medicine bottle? I found this on the table in the employee area. The same table where Mr. Hammer and Mr. Powers ate. The label reads sleeping pills. Sleeping pills? The defendant, Mr. Powers, spent that entire afternoon sleeping. He was drugged by Mr. Hammer. Wow. This has taken an interesting turn. That bottle does raise some suspicions, yes? But there is no proof that Mr. Hammer used it. Your Honor, I have an idea. Uh... I mean... That's a, not really gonna do anything. I feel like both of those things would... Would be fine. I mean, I feel like it'd be a little late now. I don't think it'd be in his system anymore, so probably fingerprint. Let's go with that one. An idea? Very well, let's hear it. I want to check this bottle for fingerprints. If my claim is true, Mr. Hammer's fingerprint should show up on this bottle. Huh? I suppose you're right. Very well, the court will take possession of the bottle. And we got that out of the way. This court will suspend proceedings on the current trial, so we gotta go find the costume. This thing is going on for a long time. We got another investigation, then I guess another trial. Shit. So, I think I was onto something before, but now we have the new information that Jack was in the Steel Samurai costume for some reason. And I kind of feel like D. Vasquez is suspicious. Why would he take it? Yeah. Man. What a roller coaster. Holy shit. Edgeworth hasn't really contributed much, really. He hasn't been doing a lot. This trial will be extended until tomorrow. Ugh. Oh, this is continuing. Still. Oh my god. Whew. That was a close one. We were saved by a hair, but that's all that counts. I thought seriously about going home about three times during the trial. Me too. Really? You both seem so, so confident. Ha, huh, maybe I should take up a career in acting. I was ready to pronounce you dead about three times back there. Me too. Dead? Haha, uh -huh, of course, we're kidding. Are you sure? I wasn't kidding. No, Mr. Powers. We have to go make our final investigation. But I promise you will find the true killer by tomorrow's trial. I really hope it's the final one. Holy shit. 
That was insane. So uh, we got to go find that costume. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you then.